Hi, this is Matthew May with quickregisterseo.com, and I just did a huge blog post. It practically killed me to write it, <laughs> but on how to get traffic to your website. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, for different ways of getting traffic to their affiliate link, to their website, to their, to their offer. And I really brainstormed and researched uh, 57 different ways to increase traffic to your website. Actually, there's more than that. And I'm going to talk about this in this video, but before I go on, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification icon. Thank you. So I've got this blog post and there's no way you could do everything in here. Uh, it's just, just too much, but you could pick like one technique and work on it. And I'm going to be doing individual videos on the individual techniques and get it going and see if you can get traffic to your website. And I've used a lot of these techniques, so I know that they work. So before you actually go ahead and start sending traffic to something, you know, there's some certain basics that you need to deal with. And I think like the first one would be to find a profitable niche. A lot of people, when they want to learn how to make money online, start on the make money online niche. And that's okay. You can make money with that if you work it. Uh, however, it's not necessarily the best pick for everyone because there's a lot of competition. You know, everyone is trying to sell their make money offer. So you have a lot of competition and they, they generally know a little bit more about marketing than people in other niches. So what you might want to think about is, Hey, do you have some other interest, some other thing that you're good at? You know, I mean, it could be almost anything, um, makeup videos, fitness. Um, I knew a guy who did extreme fishing. He went underneath the water in, uh, underneath the ice in Canada and fished and filmed it. I mean, I, I don't suggest you do that. All right. But there could be a niche which has way more interest than the make money online and digital marketing niche. Uh, that could be, actually be easier for you to make money on. You could, uh, create your own niche, sell courses, sell eBooks, um, have a membership site. You know, you, there's lots of things you could do. You create your own YouTube channel and make money from AdWords. If, if you, for example, this extreme fishing guy, I mean, that type of, that type of video would just get zillions of views. So you could make money that way. So, it, you know, take a look at your inventory, what you're really interested in. It could be fostering kittens. Okay. There's a lady who has a fostering kittens channel, which is just nuts on, on how many views they get. So there might be another niche that you actually like better, that you're better at, that you know more about, that you could develop an audience with through YouTube and blogging and podcasts that could be way more profitable for you. So think about the niche first before you dive in. So that's the first thing, you know, I've talked about and here's a, a real good video on that. The other thing is branding. What's your brand? This is something that I haven't done well. You know, I've been doing this a long time and I'm selling this and selling that, but I haven't really created my brand. And that's what I'm going to be working on in the future, creating my brand. So I say, okay, Matthew, man, okay. I know what he's about. <clears throat> and I'm looking at other people who've done better than me in the, in the past and kind of going to have to model that. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Seeing, you know, other people who've done better than you and saying, what are they doing that I'm not doing? So having a memorable brand, you know, if you're going to have a, web, uh, a domain name, can you just tell it to people and they know how to, how to get there without spelling it out? You want to get into people's consciousness. So there's, and here's another one, have a great offer. All right. If you're bringing traffic to something, that's not a good deal. You're kind of wasting your time. So really take time and thinking about what you're offering and how you can make it even more valuable for people. So these are just some of the basics here, you know, and work on your copywriting. So like if you have a great headline, that'll attract people to read more because the headlines, no matter what media it is, whether it's YouTube, whether it's a classified ad, uh, whether it's a blog post, the headline is the first thing people see. So if the headline isn't fantastic, people aren't going to click on it. I'll put the link to this blog post. You know, there's tons of ideas on how to get traffic. So I'm going to come down here and just talk, hit on a few of them. Of course, you can just build your YouTube channel. These are things people know. Combine email marketing with YouTube. Put your put a link to your subscription in the uh, description form in the YouTube video description. 
you could pay for ads on YouTube. You know, I've been talking to people who are doing well with TikTok advertising. Apparently, the, the cost is less. Now they're selling health-type products. Uh, I think they were selling CBD to, like, younger adults. So that's something you might think of, depending on your market. You know, those are they're mainly like younger adults. Here's something, an interesting technique. There are some videos out there that people just put up for fun that are getting ridiculous amount of traffic. They just put something crazy up and you can contact these people and see if you could put your link in their description, maybe pay them a little something. And that's a way you can get long-term traffic. A lot of them weren't even thinking about making money. And if they think, oh, maybe I can make a little money off of this, that's great. And you can get some good deal on advertising there. And then here I'm talking about retargeting YouTube ads. That's when you, you, you're going to send your YouTube ads. I'm going to start doing some of this, your YouTube ads to people who've already visited your website. And here we move into the email marketing. Now, definitely, I think it's a must to have your own newsletter, start collecting email addresses with people. I use a Weber. I think they're good. Uh, you can integrate them with a lot of different things like WordPress and so forth very easily. And they're very reliable and good, have good deliverability. And I've also managed to get some uh, leads through SafeList. You know, if you don't have a list already, you can start building your list with SafeList. And like how, what I've done is give away free things that get people to join my list. You know, there's not one technique that's going to set you over the top. You've got to work a lot of different techniques. You can also get solo ads. Now, the good thing with solo ads is that when you send the ad out, you usually get, you know, a few hits and some subscribers. The problem is afterwards, you got to do it all over again. So it can become, it becomes more expensive, but that is still something that you can do. And I'm going in through different ways here on how you can build your email list. A lot of different creative ways, uh, reverse advertising, email signatures, you know, and I tell you what, some of my really good affiliates just contact the people directly that are, that are targeted prospects and they just contact them one by one. Um, and they do get results. So that's something to think of. Of course, I go into classified ad marketing using software, free software, paid software. Now, this is something that has worked extremely well for me. Now, maybe you're not there yet, but if you have your own product, it could be anything, could be an ebook, could be a service. You can start your own affiliate program where you pay other people commissions to sell your products. Instead of being the affiliate, you're the guy who runs the affiliate program. Now there's some technical issues to go through, but it's doable. Like I use a member pro software, um, which is a, a software which manages everything for you. You'll need your own server, like a VPS server uh, to upload this. But maybe you don't know a lot about that. You can learn, okay? But also what you can do is you can go to a place called freelancer.com and hire technical people, usually from other countries outside the US, but who are very good, who can do different tasks. Like if you want a, the uh, script set up, you can say if you bought a member pro which is like 150 bucks it's an unbelievable price for what they offer um it could cost you thousands and thousands to to program a software but you can pay them and they will set it up for you and then you could run your own affiliate program and that really works well uh, when you have an army of people working for you selling your product for you and there's also wordpress plugins that can do this for you so that's something that can to consider you will have to go through a little technical uh learning curve but it is definitely worth it and is definitely doable and you can get people to help you very cheaply like here i'm going through different pay-per-click options and pay-per-view options you know we have real ppv traffic that we run you can get traffic there and also bing advertising is kind of an alternative to google adwords it could be done much more cheaply and probably similar results so that's something to consider you could pay for ads on all the social media, different social media sites. Now here I'm going into a technique called the skyscraper scraper technique. We're going into SEO and that's when you find a really good popular blog post, blog post, you redo it even better. 
than it was done before and create your own viral blog post. That's what I'm doing with this. I found a blog post on how to get traffic and I added quite a bit of material to it. So that there's even more, uh, more techniques and more in depth. Another thing you can do is review influencers in your niche and ask them questions. And you can kind of, you can put out a podcast, you can put out a YouTube video, you can put out a blog post and just by using their names, that will bring people to your world, to your community who are in your niche. So there's another technique. We talk about answer, answering questions and asking questions on Quora, a very popular answer site. And you can, you can embed YouTube videos there and put your links there. Now I have a whole list of SEO strategies that you can use. You know, here's just something that I'd missed. You know, you can put a full description in your, in your WordPress categories that most people probably forget to do. You know, I've got, there's the content relaunch strategy where you had a very popular post and you re you update it and you relaunch that content. Here's something too, you know, your FAQ FAQ section can attract a lot of people to your website. You could do research on all the different questions asked about your industry here. I did a little search of Google about 10 proven ways to get increased traffic and Google gives you all kinds of other questions and answers regarding that. And that can work for any topic, even local marketing. I've used this. You could create an awesome resources page with all the resources that you use and put that on your website, submit infographics, write reviews and testimonials of product products in your niche and let the website know that you link back to them. You can get a relationship going viral marketing. Here's something that I've done with a lot of success, give away free software. You can use my software and give it away and use that to build your list. Give away free rebrandable eBooks. I'm going to turn this whole post into a rebrandable eBook and uh, you're going to be able to give it away and earn up to $500 commissions because I'm going to have a lot of affiliate products in here that you can earn big commissions with. And you'll also be able to earn, we be able to earn recurring commissions. You look at the various trends that are going on in the world and incorporate that into your marketing. Charity work, referral marketing. Now this is a really good one. Start your own SASS business. You know, um, you can get a lot of traffic by having your own own software as a service business. It sounds difficult, but you can go to a place like Code Canyon and get all kinds of scripts. And I'll give you a few examples. You know, create your own business directory. You can start your own classified ad site too. Your own traffic change, your own forum in your niche, your own safeless viral mailer, these type of things that will attract people to these free services. And it's extremely effective. Then you could offer your affiliate offers. You could also have them subscribe to your newsletter. I mean, I've done this with success, you know, on the free ad forum.com. I don't use any paid advertising. I have 400,000 people who have subscribed there. I haven't even gotten to, to, to contacting them all yet. Oh, so, and no paid advertising on that. None. So it's, you know, this is another one. Start your own link shortening service. And here's a script you can buy for like 50 bucks or something. They have different versions of it. I use this for my customers to track their track their campaigns. Uh, it also tells you how many hits you got and where the hits come from and so forth. And it's like a, a bitly, uh, you could offer your own service there and it's already programmed. So you just need a VPS server, a Linux VPS server and this script and wow, you could have your own. There's tons of them there. You can go to code Canyon and get tons of them. So I go into that mobile marketing niche and local directories for local businesses. So you can check out this ebook, this not, it's not an ebook yet. It will be, and you know, get every, I'm not, I can't go into every single technique here in depth. This is really just an overview. But you can go and you can look and get a lot of great ideas on how to get traffic to your website. And again, there's no way you can do all of them. Just pick one and get to work and start promoting your niche or your offer. And I hope this helps you out. Uh, I hope that just gives you at least one idea 
this much information can be overwhelming for, for people. So really just kind of peruse this and see what applies to you and see what you can do to get more traffic to your website. But I think there's plenty, plenty of ideas here for you to get started with. All right. Thank you so much. This is Matthew May with quickregisterseo.com. Please click the link below to see this blog post. Thanks.